Hey everyone, today I'm going to review the seventh book in the Urban Sketching Handbook series. This is Drawing with a Tablet, Easy Techniques for Mastering Digital Drawing on Location. The artist and author is Yumar Kalkar. So this is a paperback format book with an elastic band to keep the covers together. There's a total of 112 pages. Now this book is for people who are thinking of drawing digitally on a tablet for people who are thinking of transitioning from using a paper sketchbook to uh, a digital workflow. This book does not teach you how to draw. This book actually focuses on certain uh, tools that are available with the various apps on uh, different platforms. So here's a list of apps that are available on iOS, Android and Windows and the pros and cons of each app. Most of the exercises, the tools that are featured in this book actually um, uses Procreate. So if you want to really follow along, you would have to use Procreate. But some of the examples, they are actually using uh, techniques or tools that can be easily replicated uh, with other apps. For example, a lot of drawing apps, they actually use layers. So you can use layers for your techniques when you're drawing. So these few pages talk about color selection with Procreate. There are a lot of beautiful examples from the urban sketching community. I see Rob Sketcherman. This is Steve Sandoville. Patricia Gainat. Kate Barber. So here it talks about this tool called the smudge tool where you can blur out uh, things in the black in the background. This chapter, chapter three talks about how you can use layers. So you can have your line drawing on one layer, colors on the other and texture on the other. And you can also use layers to do uh, collages. For example, here's a collage. And here's a collage as well. So the tutorials or the tips, they will actually go into specific um, terms like how you can use multiply modes, what are the different multiply modes. And this one talks about transparency lock. Transparency lock is basically locking the shapes that you have drawn. For example, here you lock the black shape. So when you add colors, you're not actually removing the black. You're actually adding colors beside the black. This book features many tools and there are many examples to go along with uh, the tools that are mentioned. So this is a tip on scaling and moving. There are also tips from other artists as well, such as this one where Don Lo is uh, talking about how he would draw such a complicated scene and zoom in and zoom out to find out where he is and how to make it easier to uh, draw without losing track of uh, where he is. And this, these two sketches are from Paul Houston. So you can actually use perspective lines, uh, grid lines that you draw yourself or in this case here, Paul Houston is very experienced, so he actually just go in straight away with drawing without drawing the perspective lines. Here's a tip on how you can make your own digital brushes. More examples. This is a tip on how you can paint reflections. Mixed media. So this chapter, uh, teaches you or shows you how you can use the different types of um, brushes, digital brushes or brushes that are meant to look like paint brushes, pencils, ink. So this is a mixed media chapter. You can also use digital tablets for quick thumbnailing. And the last few pages basically just features examples from various artists. And it's quite inspiring to see the work that can be created with such uh, with with the digital media. And sometimes it can be a bit difficult to 
uh, differentiate whether or not or tell whether or not the sketch was drawn digitally. So that's it. These are the list of contributors with their websites included. So you can check out more of their work online. And this is Yuma Kelka with her iPad. All right, so this is, uh, I think this is definitely worth the money. The official price for this book is US $18.99. I'm sure you can find this cheaper on Amazon and Book Depository. This is a book I can recommend very easily, just like the earlier books from the Urban Sketching Handbook series, which I have reviewed both on my YouTube channel and my blog. So if you're interested to get this book, you can get it through the Amazon and Book Depository. Affiliate links in the video description below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.